Hi, this is Fabio Murri, and today I'm very excited to show you the first chapter of this series of both through videos for the product I know we've been all waiting for some time, Synchron Brass. In this video, I'll show you all you need to know about the trumpets you can find in this library, two solo trumpets and two sections with four and six players each. There is a lot to be discovered, so let's start without losing time. The library offers two solo trumpets sharing exactly the same large set of articulations, and we will begin with the short notes you already heard in the first example of this video. Short notes are also great to test the sonic difference of the available microphone position, so let's play again these staccato shorts soloing some of the mics starting from the main plus main center microphones that belong to the decatry, the backbone of every orchestra recording. Remember, these microphones are always included with the standard library. Now the same, but soloing the close plus mid mics. And now the high plus high surround mics, which are the mics offering you the widest impression of the stage. They come with a full library and are great to add more depth in your mix. If you're working in uh, immersive surround formats, these microphones will be essential. Portatos are a great addition to any brass library, since in many common passages, neither staccados or long notes will give you a realistic result. As for the staccados, portatos also come with a short and a long variation. Let's move into the long notes, where you can already see that there are many interesting variations available. First of all, you see regular and confortissimo. Regular offers you a dynamic range from piano to forte, so that you can be more precise with your velocity crossfade controller amongst a smaller number of velocity layers, while confortissimo exchanges the forte layer with a fortissimo layer to access the highest available dynamic levels the players could produce. The amount of energy that comes through your speakers is incredible. Now, Confortissimo. I'm sure you noticed the senza vibrato and con vibrato variants. We are going to test them when we reach the legatos. Now let's hear the espressivo variation that consists of long notes, but with a natural and expressive swell performed by the players on each note. That's quite incredible. And notice how I didn't touch any controller and I just let the instrument sing. 
We reached Delegatus and we are not even half through the content of this library. With Delegatus, I take the chance to show you the difference in character between the first and the second trumpet. They obviously work amazingly together, but I love the fact that you can really hear a certain difference in character between the two players. Mark Osterer and Peter First, and of course their instruments, in every articulation. Let's test the same melody with the two instruments to get an idea of what I'm talking about. As for long notes, Legatus offered the same features, plus the regular and fast variations for the legato transition speed. Obviously, the last variation is meant to be selected for faster lines, and the auto speed patch does the job for you, shifting between regular and fast transitions depending on your playing speed. Let's play an interesting combination, which for me is legato con vibrato with automatic speed detection. And let's play that on trumpet too because I found it particularly beautiful with this line. And it's time also to try one of the mixer presets that I think is gonna fit very well this line. And this is the signature preset Golden Times that emulates the sound of classic movies. Let's see how far we can push the fast variation. Let's get to another fundamental category for brass instruments, dynamics. Here you find sforzato and sforzatissimo articulations that deliver the brutal, brassy sound that we all love for our scores. The players performing at the top of their lungs. Let's leave this for later when we reach the sections. Here you will also find crescendos and decrescendos, or diminuendos as they are called here, in a strong and a soft variation. As we will hear, the strong variation uses the whole dynamic spectrum from piano to forte, while the soft variation provides two options depending on your initial velocity piano to mezzo forte and mezzo forte to forte. They come with pre-recorded length of 2, 3 and 4 seconds, but of course there's always the stretch feature that lets you find the exact length you need. For example, if you want a 1 second crescendo, the obvious choice is to select the 2 seconds crescendo and select half the speed of the original recorded sample. We're gonna play a lot with that when we reach the horn chapter. Latter tongue and trills gives us the chance to introduce a great feature I skipped until now to keep things simple, but it's actually a great feature you can apply to every articulation. Thanks to a smart and optimized filtering that works great with brass instruments, 
it simulates the natural change in timbre and brilliance that comes with a change in dynamic. Let's try it with flutter tongue and drills to see how we can effectively emulate the impression of a dynamic crescendo. We've already seen how agile and effective staccato shorts are even for repetitions, but the library offers pre-recorded fast repetitions and upbeats as well for even more realistic results. Please notice how with the ringing variant, um, an additional repetition is automatically triggered when I release the keyboard. We now move to the two section sizes offered by the library, four trumpets and six trumpets. The trumpet ensemble with six players consists of brand new material, whereas the Vienna aficionados amongst you will recognize the section with four trumpets from Big Bang Orchestra Copernicus. As always, you will benefit from a reduced price for synchron brass if you already have the Big Bang Orchestra Copernicus. The two sizes offer quite different sonic results as they will do in a real context. Some call these tone weight. The four trumpets deliver the classic section sound, while the six trumpets are all about a more prominent, big, modern film scoring attitude. The difference is really clear, so I suggest to check both options when composing to find the one that suits better your track. Let's compare the two sections with another example that mixes several articulations to get to know the difference even more. Now that we have explored the higher range of brass sounds with the trumpets, I would like to conclude this video by bringing in some big low brass with the incredible giant tutti patch. A patch combined together the larger section sizes offered by the library for an impressive number of 28 players. Great to have this preset available for sketching with all sections spread out across the keyboard. Let's hear them with the stereo classic Deca 3 preset first. Now 
Now the surround to stereo white preset. I will say this is actually much more than a sketching tool. And now let's test also the great legato patch with the wall of brass process presets that you find also in the standard library. We reached the end of this first chapter and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I am enjoying Syngrom Brass that I find really fantastic. See you very soon for the second chapter, Florence.